hey it's Ashley Sonia and welcome back to my channel so today on tea time we are going to be talking about my college experience slash my transfer experience I feel like I have a lot of things to say a lot of things that I can help people out with because my college experience hasn't been normal it's been a little difficult it's been a little bit of a rocky road before I start this video by no means am I saying that college is horrible and you shouldn't do it and everyone has a bad time and everyone's lying about their experiences like they're not this is just my experience and I have a big part to play in the way that college has turned out for me so I just want to make a video to help either those who are transferring or incoming freshmen that you can maybe learn from my mistakes and go into college with a little more of an open mind. Yeah, let's just get into it. So we'll start off with my freshman year of college. My freshman year of college I went to a school called Kennesaw State University which I love dearly and I moved in with my best friend at the time and that was probably not the smartest decision. Not necessarily that she was a horrible person or anything like that, but I feel like I limited myself. I stayed sheltered kind of within the situation that I was in, like moving in with someone that you already know. You already know them, you're comfortable, you know, you're not really gonna try out and go and explore things and you're really not gonna, I don't know, push yourself to your limits. That was probably the first thing that I wish I would have done differently. I wish that I would have gone through the process, signed up with a random, I say random because Nowadays you can get into like a roommate matchmaking service and those are awesome because they put you with a lot of people that are more like minded depending on the way that you fill out your form and a lot of schools offer that. Forgive me I might be like glancing over at the monitor sometimes because this camera loves to just shut off like in the middle of nowhere just stop recording so I just want to make sure it doesn't do that to me. But moving on. I lived with my best friend out of college. We lived in an apartment, like, on campus. So this apartment had my own bedroom, own bathroom, full kitchen, uh, full living room, like, the full deal. So I never got a dorm-style living, which this might sound crazy, but if there's one thing that I wish I had in college, I wish that I got to live in a typical dorm setting. I feel like in that, you kind of bond. Like, you bond with your hallmates, you have a lot of memories. I feel like you're closer to people, you gain more of a network when you have that. And everyone's different, but personally, I feel like if you have the option to live like in a dorm and in like a full on apartment, give yourself a dorm for a year. If you hate it, it's just a year and you know, you can move on. But I feel like that's something that just made college really, really different for a lot of people. There was this place called The Suites on campus, but everyone who lived in there, like on their halls, they knew everybody. Like it was like the open door kind of thing. And for me, I didn't have that, like my door was always closed. So without going into too much detail, living with my friend didn't end up working out very well. That was a very hard friendship to lose. I just feel like I would have been better off living with someone that I didn't know and exploring different things. I kind of went into a shell. I, you know, went to class. I was an athletic trainer for the football team my freshman year. So I went to class, went to practice, came back in my room and sat in there forever because I always felt like I was in an environment that I didn't love and I wasn't happy in. That made me just crawl into a shell and never come out. And that's one thing that I wish I would have done. So first piece of advice, put yourself out there. College is a choice. There are so many opportunities on so many campuses, so many things you can get involved in, but you know, like you have to be the one to put yourself out there. Freshmen have this great little sweet spot where everybody is in the exact same boat. You have no idea what you're getting yourself into and no one else has any idea what they're getting themselves into. So you all kind of bond over that. And so I missed out on, on that because I forced myself in my room. I didn't put in the work to put myself out there. I didn't put in the work to make myself get to know other people and get outside of that funk. And that's one thing that I wish I really had done because I just kind of wallowed in my sorrows of my situation. Fast forward to the next year. I was still at Kennesaw State. I lived off campus and I got two random roommates who I love Anna and Olivia I love you too I miss you guys so much they were like the best thing that ever happened to me at that time like living with them was just so refreshing I loved where I lived I lived in like a really really bougie off-campus apartment and I loved it because I felt a little bit more like an independent adult I told myself that I was gonna put myself out there this year since so my sophomore year my freshman year was horrible and I refuse to let myself go through that again and so I'm just gonna keep trying. So God placed in my lap this organization called Delta Sigma Pi. Um, Delta Sigma Pi is a professional business fraternity. And through that, 
I got really, really close to my Pledge Brothers. So that really became fun because in my sophomore year, it was like I was actually going out and I am not much of a party person by any means. I was still kind of weird because I still kind of felt, you know, a little bit lonely. Mind you, I had these amazing people around me, but I knew what it was like to have like that one best friend that you were really, really close to. And because I lost that my freshman year, like, that was a very, very hard thing for me to move on from. And my sophomore year was so great. Of my living situation, I was in the gym, getting fit, like, everything was just going up on a high. And then I had a dream. I had a dream that I transferred to another college, and I was really happy. And I told my mom, and she was like, well, go ahead and apply to different places. I eventually ended up coming around to applying to Georgia. Around the same time that I got in, I found out a friend from high school got in. And so we both decided to live together. So I'm like staying in a bunk bed with my bougie self. I have never had to share a room. My freshman year, I had my own room. My sophomore year, I had my own room. And now I'm like truly living like a freshman, but I feel like I'm too old to be living like a freshman. But I wouldn't be living with anyone besides Allie. And it's been a really great experience like knowing her and living with her. With that being said though, I'm not gonna sugarcoat it. Transferring has been the hardest experience of my entire life. It was hard because I came here and I was like, if I put myself out there the same way that I did at Kennesaw, I'm gonna be fine. And that's just not really what happened for me. And like I said, I'm not making this video to sound like discouraging or that college sucks or transferring sucks because everyone experience is different, but mine so far has not been easy. Being a junior, a lot of these people who are here already have their friend groups, so they're gonna be nice, but like they already have their friends that they've weeded out from freshman year, and it's a little harder to infiltrate like a friend group and get really close to someone. I'm saying all this, I'm already putting it out into existence that I'm gonna have an amazing senior year, but the adjustment is definitely something different. I came to UGA, how to apply for my major within two weeks of being here, adjust to a new campus, live with someone else for the first time. I just got in a relationship, traveling back and forth to make sure I'm making it to his games, which was no problem because he goes to Kennesaw State. I love him so much. So that was no problem, but that was hard for me because then I would come home and visit him and I would miss Kennesaw. Well, Georgia is amazing. It has given me so many opportunities I would have never had at Kennesaw State. But with that being said, it's truly put me on my own. And because of that, it's almost forced me to turn more into my religion and how big of a role that actually plays. I have been making sure I'm on my Bible app and actually finding what true source of happiness means for me. And so I feel like you get in this point in life where you're like, well, if I have this, I'm going to be happy. Or if I have a boyfriend, I'm going to be happy. Or if I have a bunch of girlfriends, you know, I'm going to be happy. But the truth is, and what I've come to realize is, all of that stuff isn't going to change. Your happiness comes from God and God alone. And you can't rely on these other things. And it's not that Azoi doesn't make me happy. I love him. He makes me so happy. He can't fill every void in my life. That's not what a relationship is designed to do. And so that was definitely something that I had to understand and get used to. And in order to really get everything out of this relationship that I can, to get everything out of my life that I can, I had to turn to the word and I had to turn to God. I'm in a very transitional point in my life where I don't know what I'm doing and I don't know where I'm going. And it's hard to deal with that because I like to be in control of everything. And so it's having to give everything up and be like, it's, it's okay to not be in control of everything. I'm not in control of everything. I just have to take it day by day. I'm saying this and I am still struggling. So I guess I'm making this video to like hit home a couple of points. First off, college is what you make it. If you go into college and like it's gonna be crappy, I don't wanna be away from home, I'm not making any friends, blah, 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 then that's exactly what you're gonna have. If you put your happiness and trust in other people, you are always going to be let down. I don't care if they're your best friends, if they're your family, if they're your boyfriend or girlfriend, like you have to have that inside you from God from the start. And then everything else will just kind of fall into place. Second thing is you're going to be lonely. I know that sounds awful, but you are going to have times where you're gonna feel lonely. You're gonna feel like you don't have anyone and you don't know what you're doing here and you miss home and everything is complicated and up in the air and it is okay. I feel like anytime you see something on college just about how happy everyone is and how they're having such a great time and partying and doing this and that, but that's not always the case. Everyone, from my knowledge, feels lonely or out of place at some point. 
and that is okay. It is okay to feel lonely. My camera keeps dying, so I'm trying to remember where I was last before it shuts off again. No matter how lonely you feel, keep putting yourself out there. That's something I didn't do that I wish I did. Keep in contact with your family and friends that you have from back home. I feel like for some reason everyone like keeps saying you go off to college and you forget all your high school friends, which is not true from like, at least not from my experience. My best friends that I have are my ones still from high school. It's my last biggest thing. You know, for me, religion is so big and I think college has been nothing but a religious journey for me. So find something that keeps your headspace there. For me, I'm not saying I'm perfect. I'm actually very bad at it right now, but I know when it's helped and I know when I'm more in tune. And so I use the Bible app on my phone and I do these plans. Right now I'm doing a plan for like happiness and finding true happiness through God. And um, I know Zoya does plans on his, there are different books, like there's this book that I know I need to read. I have it up there. It's called Uninvited. I know I need to read it. And I'm going to start reading it. Actually, start reading that book. Find whatever keeps you grounded in that space, whether that's making sure that you're watching a sermon every weekend, making sure you're reading at least one scripture a day and meditating on it. Give yourself five minutes to be in the Word and it'll make a difference. And I'm not just talking to you, I'm talking to myself because I know that that's somewhere I need to be. I want to be in the right headspace and I want to be the best for me and the best for my relationship and the best for my family. And so I really, really, truly believe that that comes from being in God's Word and making sure that I have a connection with Him more than just, oh, I read it, so I did it, or I'm doing this, so I did it. Like, find a study group or Bible study, anything. Just find something to be involved in. So I hope you all enjoyed this video and I hope you got something from it. Like I said, if you have any suggested videos or anything you want to know, because I do feel like my college experience has been very different from other people who have been on the internet, uh, please let me know and I will be so willing to make it because I just want to be an open book to help other people. If you like this video, please like and subscribe and I will talk to you later, lovelies. Bye.